Lima 2013. This year we have 207 companies from 29 countries present with us, a 10% increase on last year, with global maritime and aerospace market leaders well represented. The number of local companies participating has reached 226, a testimony of how far the local defence industry has progressed. With 78 aircrafts and 64 warships on display, the Langkawi International Maritime and Aerospace Exhibition offers delegates and companies from Asia and the world an opportunity to see some of the latest defence and commercial technology and perhaps a little of this beautiful island too. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure your schedules will be packed during your time here, much to the dismay of my colleague, the Tourism Minister. But actually, what happens within this perimeter is just as important for Malaysia. For we have identified the maritime and aerospace industries as key sectors for investment and support. Two years ago, we launched the Malaysian Shipbuilding, Ship Repair Industry Strategic Plan 2020 here at this venue. The recent inclusion of shipbuilding and ship repair industry in our economic transformation program is a clear acknowledgement of the importance of the industry, not just for accelerating Malaysia's growth, but also for providing high-income jobs. We have pushed aviation to the centre of our in industrial policy. Through the Malaysian Aerospace Council, we have successfully steered the development of the aviation industry, an industry that registered some 8.2 billion ringgit of turnover in 1998 is now worth 30 billion ringgit with more than 230 active companies and a workforce of 65,000. Our strategy, a specific incentive package for the aerospace industry, has attracted continuous new investments from major foreign and domestic players. Last year, the aerospace industry recorded 2.3 billion ringgit worth of investment, which is expected to generate more than 2,700 new employment opportunities. These numbers are impressive. They illustrate not only the potential for further growth here in Malaysia, but also our desire to transform our economy as we strive to become a high-income nation. Situated as we are in the heart of one of the most vibrant maritime and aerospace markets, with strong connections to Asia and other parts of the world, an open business-friendly economy, I believe the future prospects for growth are strong. And if this year's exhibition is anything to go by, that future is not very far away at all. I commend the organizers, along with Defence Minister Dr. Sri Zahid, for their commitment to staging such a successful event. 
I would also like to thank the armed and security forces, the Ministry of Transport, Trade Industry, Science, Technology, Innovation, Tourism, and the Ministry of Higher Education, LADA, and all the various other agencies for their collective contribution to the successful organization of Lima yet again. I wish you all the very best for the rest of the exhibition. Thank you very much. Salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.